today we will see the types of semiconductor so semiconductor is classified as first is intrinsic semiconductor and second one is extrinsic semiconductor okay so these are the two types of semiconductor first is intrinsic and second one is extrinsic semiconductor now in extrinsic semiconductor it is classified as n type semiconductor and p type semiconductor okay so now we will see what is intrinsic semiconductor so intrinsic semiconductor means it is in pure form which means semiconductor in pure form is known as a intrinsic semiconductor example of intrinsic semiconductor is pure germanium pure germanium and pure silicon okay so another important point of intrinsic semiconductor is that at room temperature at room temperature number of electron equal to number of holes this is important point at room temperature in intrinsic semiconductor number of equal to number of holes okay so this is the intrinsic semiconductor so the energy band diagram of intrinsic semiconductor is like as shown in figure this is conduction band and this is valence band and fermi level lies between okay and this is the energy okay so this is the energy band diagram of the intrinsic semiconductor now what is extrinsic semiconductor so in extrinsic semiconductor when we add impurity to this pure semiconductor to increase the charge carrier it become the extrinsic semiconductor when we add an impurity means if impurity is added in semiconductor it become the extrinsic semiconductor okay increase charge carrier then it become extrinsic semiconductor okay so these are the two types of semiconductor intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor in extrinsic semiconductor it is classified as n type and p type so intrinsic semiconductor is in a pure form and if we add impurity impurity in the extrinsic uh, in semiconductor it become the extrinsic semiconductor